Lesson 9.5, third grade math, we're going to compare and order fractions. We can compare and order fractions by comparing their numerators when their denominators are the same. We can order the amount of pieces. Here we have two-fourths, three-fourths, the denominators are the same, so we compare their numerators. That tells us the difference in how many pieces there are. We can compare their denominators when the numerators are the same. We can order the size of their pieces. So we have two-thirds and two-fifths. These numerators are the same. We can also use fraction strips or fraction circles to compare the size or amount of the unit fractions. We can order fractions from least to greatest. We start with the smallest fraction and go up to the biggest. We can order fractions from greatest to least. We start with the biggest fraction and go down to the smallest. We cannot compare fractions that represent different size holes. Half of this cupcake is not going to be the same as half of this cupcake. They're two different sizes. The whole is two different sizes. We can't compare half of an apple to half of a watermelon. They're different size holes. And we can't compare half of a castle to half of a house. When we compare fractions, we need to compare the same size whole. When we use fraction strips to compare fractions, the longer fraction strip represents the greater fraction and the shorter fraction strip represents the lesser fraction. So one half is greater than one twelfth. The fewer pieces a whole is divided into, the bigger the pieces are. And the more pieces a whole is divided into, the smaller the pieces are. When we have half, it only takes two of these to make a whole. When we have a twelfth, it takes twelve of these to make a whole. When we order fractions with the same numerator from least to greatest, the denominators go from greatest to least. So here the numerators are all a one. These are all unit fractions. And we want to go from least to greatest. So the denominators are going to go from the biggest number, the greatest denominator, that's the least fraction, all the way up to the least denominator. It went from 12 to 10, 8, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. See how the denominators got smaller, but the fraction got bigger because the pieces were bigger. It was split into fewer parts. We can order fractions with the same numerator. We can order them least to greatest. Here we have two-fourths, two-thirds, and two-sixths. We can use fraction strips. Here's one whole, the red one, and two-fourths is two of these yellow ones. Two-thirds would be two of these orange ones, and two-sixths would be two of these blue ones. We can see the blue ones is the shortest one. That's going to be first because we're going from least so we want the shortest one first, so that's two-sixths. We can see the yellow one would be the middle one, that's two-fourths, and the longest fraction bar would be the two-thirds, so that's last. The largest denominator has the smallest pieces. We think of the size of the pieces. Look at how this orange one-third is much bigger than that one-sixth, and it's bigger than the one-fourth unit fraction, isn't it? We can order these fractions by shading in the fraction strips on a fraction wall. I have a copy of this on my Facebook page in the image section that you can copy it, paste it, and print it if you'd like. We need to go from least to greatest. We shade in two-fourths, so here's the one-fourth unit pieces. We shade in two of them. We need two-thirds. So here's one-third and another third that makes two-thirds. There's two of those. They all have the same numerator, so they're all two. We have two-sixths, so we're going to have two one-sixth pieces. We're supposed to go from least to greatest. So we can see the least one, the shortest one, is the two-sixths. So that's going to be first. And the middle one would be the two-fourths, and the longest one is the two-thirds. Notice the denominators go down six, four, three, as the fraction sizes go up six, four, 
3. See that? We can order fractions with the same denominator. We can use unit fraction strips to compare their sizes. So these all have the same denominator, 4, 6, 2, 6, 5, 6. That means the size of the pieces are the same. We're going to use all 1 6 pieces. We need 4 6, so we have 4 of them. Here's one whole. And we have 2 6, so we have 2 of them. And we have 5 6, so we have 5 of them. To order them from greatest to least means we need to put the longest one first, so that's 5 6. The middle one would be the 4 6. And then the smallest one would be the 2 6, because we're going from greatest to least. And notice the numerators go down as the number of pieces go down. Because they all have the same denominator, this tells us how many pieces we have, the 5, the 4, or the 2. And as we go to least, we go to the smaller number. Fraction strips can help us compare and order fractions with unlike denominators. We can line up the fraction strips next to each other. The longest set of fraction strips is the greatest fraction, and the shortest set of fraction strips is the least fraction. By lining up the fraction strips next to each other, we can order these fractions from least to greatest. We have 2 eighths, 4 fifths, and 1 half. We can see this is the least, it's the shortest one, so that's going to be first. The 4 fifths is the longest one, so that's going to be the last one, and we'll put the 1 half in the middle. We can see this is the shortest, it goes first, this is the longest, it goes last, and the middle one goes between them. We need to order these from least to greatest. We have 3 fourths, 3 six, and 3 tenths. We see they all have the same numerator. We can use a fraction wall. We put 3 1 fourth pieces, 3 1 sixth pieces, and 3 1 tenth pieces. And the denominators should get smaller because we have the same numerator. So from least, that would be the 3 tenths. That's the shortest one, isn't it? That would go first. The 3 fourths is the longest one, so we know that's going to go last, so the 3 sixths will be in the middle. See? And the, the denominators are different, so the sizes of the pieces are different. Because these denominators are all different, we're using all different sized unit fractions. We can order these from greatest to least. They all have the same denominator, don't they? So we're going to use unit fractions that are all the same size. We're going to use all 1 12th pieces. We have 3 twelfths, 5 twelfths, and 4 twelfths. From greatest, that would be the 5 twelfths. The middle one right here would be first. 4 twelfths would be the next one, and then the shortest one would be 3 twelfths. It would be the last one here. And the numerators are getting smaller, aren't they? 5, 4, 3. All the denominators are the same. And the denominators are the same, so the size of the pieces are the same. We use all the same size unit fractions. That's when the denominators are the same. Emma walked her dog 3 eighths mile on Saturday, 3 sixths mile on Sunday, and 3 tenths mile on Monday. Order the fractional distances she walked her dog on these three days from least to greatest. So we need to put 3 eighths, 3 six, and 3 tenths in order from least to greatest. And the numerators are the same, 3. We put them in order from least to greatest. We put the biggest denominator first and the smallest denominator last. Because the numerators are all the same, we need to put the biggest denominator, 10, as the first one because that would be smaller pieces. It's split into 10 pieces. So that would be the least. We only have three of 10 parts. The greatest one would be the one that's split into six parts, and we've got three of them. And we put the 3 eighths in the middle. See? So the bigger the denominator, the more parts the whole was split into. We've only got three out of the 10. Here we've got three out of the six. That's much bigger. So remember, when you compare and order fractions that have the same denominator, like we did here or here, our unit fractions are all going to be the same. We used all 1 sixth pieces here. We used all 1 twelfth pieces here. When the denominators are the same, 
that's what we use, the same unit fractions, okay? We're going to talk about equivalent fractions next, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!